hello from actually going to Disneyland Paris now. First day. <laughs> um, so if you've watched the last vlog, that was our travel day. And now we are off to get the RER to go one stop and actually get to Disneyland Paris. So you can see behind me, we're staying at the Ibis and it is literally the, the, the RER. So I'm gonna go and finally see the castle. <laughs> I can't guarantee I won't cry because I am that kind of person. So there's the RER and if I uh, do a dolly turn, there's the Ibis. It's literally right on top. Buying tickets. Nope. Don't do it in French. <laughs> I mean you can do it in French if you want. So we just want to go to Miles Chessie. Chessie Disney. Full, Full and then we get a booklet of 10, so that's five trips each. And eventually, you remember that you need to switch on bank payments on your card, and then it goes through magically. Oops. And obviously we're going towards Disney, so we follow the Disney sign. One thing to note if you're using that, uh, entrance by the Ibis. It is stairs and an escalator up only. So it means if you've got a pram or suitcases then it's not the ideal way to uh, come down. You can go to the other uh, Val de Europe station entrance which is all the way up there um, and that's got full like disabled access. And you will need your ticket to get out the other side so don't throw your ticket away once you're actually in the uh, metro. As Andy checks his pockets. The sign lies. If you go the opposite way to what the sign says, you go out into uh, a better security line than if you follow the sign. So this is where that exit actually comes out. You're alongside Disney Village, which means you don't have to fight with the car park queue, the bus queue. It's just a lot quieter all the time. So this is what the floor looks like. Green dots you can stand on, blue you can't. Oh, I'm so excited. Even the sign makes me excited. Let's get some magic on the go. That was like a really quick trip down Main Street. Oh, I've been up since 5 a.m. It is now half past two, and we figure it's time for breakfast. <laughs> so we've come to Victoria's because Chocolate Victoria's is open. Shh, don't say too loud. <laughs> so we've come in here to get something to eat, which is why I have no mask on. Look how adorable this milkshake is. And is this because I picked Dale of which one to keep? The fates know that I now get Dale milkshakes. Yeah. And you got a boring strawberry one. Boring. I mean, it's not boring, but it's equally. It ain't a chipmunk. And then we got pastries because we're at that weird point where we don't really want to eat properly because tea time soon. But look how much Mickey shaped food. Well, that was absolutely lovely. I loved that. Uh, we've also just managed to get tickets for the Lion King show, which officially starts tomorrow, but they're doing soft opening today. So we're going watching that. I am smiling behind this mask, you just can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> we've waited long enough. It's Big Thunder time. So Big Thunder Mountain's got the dope stand here, squares as well. And then they've also put perspex up between the queue lines.
still absolutely love Big Thunder Mountain. It's the best. The queue was not 15 minutes, it definitely lied. And because of the perspex, it means that where you usually get the breeze blowing through from uh, the bits that are just like facing outside, there's no breeze blowing through. Um, so that was not a very pleasant queue at all. And social distancing was not really existent. Um, no matter how many times I glared and tried to like make the people behind understand that the big thing that says do not stand here means the entire thing, not just where the little footprints are. <sighs> yeah. um, we've now come to Cowboy Cookout, um, we're just sat outside with a drink because it's so hot. Um, it's only 27 degrees which given how hot it's been in the UK that feels like it should be a lot cooler than what we've been having but equally just I think queuing for Big Thunder <laughs> took it out of us so um, we've only actually got 20-ish minutes until um, our group for going into the Frontier Theatre is called so see what that's like to see what the Lion King show is as well excited I know Lion King isn't like my favourite and I don't think I've ever made it all the way through Lion King I like dip in and out of it but um, a lot of people have said that this show is amazing so looking forward to seeing what it's like.
same place before we went into the theatre. Oh my god, that show is amazing. The, like, we're not big Lion King fans, but holy crap, the acrobatics is phenomenal. They, it's so good. Andy is here as well. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, wait. No eyes on. Now yes. I can say. <laughs> <laughs> what did you think of it? That was good. Really good. Again, not into the Lion King, but the staging was absolutely fantastic and the, the acrobatics were amazing. I actually think the arrangements of the songs were better than yeah. the original as well. Yeah, the, the score was actually really good. Yeah. And uh, the people they had playing the uh, major parts as well could really belt it out. Wow, their voices are <laughs> like amazing. I know before we went in, people who've seen it last year said that it was like watching like a West End or a Broadway show and they weren't wrong. I'm absolutely blown away by it. Now we're having another drink before we hit up some rides. What rides? I mean, I'm hoping that if we sit here for maybe 10-15 minutes, Big Thunder might play through some people and maybe we'll go on that again. If not, Phantom Manor, Small World and Pirates in no particular order. Sounds good to me. It was too big a queue on Big Thunder, so we're off to see Melanie. As with Big Thunder, there's Perspex screens between the actual queue bit. There are bits of Ravenswood Manor where the cleaner works well. <laughs> She's just give up downstairs. And in the first room of Phantom Manor, there's a little uh, basket tape on the floor where you basically stand with your family group. Pirate. Like every other ride, the Perspex has been installed on Pirates as well. And the social distance markings are on the floor. I will say, even though they've only been down a month, some of the stickers are coming up. So sometimes when you walk in, if you don't walk carefully, your foot gets caught in them. Maybe that's just me because I am a klutz. And of course, now I've said about it, there's no more that are actually showing you worth the peeling up because that would be helpful <laughs> found one that's what i mean so if you're not looking that'll get you <laughs> I feel like a wrecking ball. does that pirate look like Vinnie jones or is it just me that big black cloud you can see in the background it's thundering and probably lightning but we've not seen the lightning bit yet we've just heard the thunder so we're going to try and go on small world because i don't think we'll get on big thunder mountain when it's actually thundering i honestly don't know why i ever say we're going to small world because we always get teacuped distracted the small world fountain is on and the crack is i mean i mean it's taped it's not repaired but still it's enough that the fountain is now on. Woohoo! of us have any sort of coat or umbrella or anything but you know what we are doing we're just walking in the rain because that's how we roll um i think we should go over towards big thunder and see what it's like yeah okay. <laughs> no surprise big thunder was shut because of the weather so we are leaving the park well, because we're leaving the park, we now get characters as you leave the park, and it's so good. We've got Pluto, Goofy, Mickey, Minnie, Pinocchio, and Geppetto.
<laughs> so the park is now shut. We have come to Annette for something to eat. Which is basically the only time we come to Annette is when we've forgotten to eat because we've been on an early morning flight. It seems to be our go to place. And we've got like a chicken burger <laughs> thing. And I've got a barbecue burger thing. <laughs> so technical. Much wow. We've had a little potter around Disney Village and now we're back in the hotel room. So obviously I need to do a little hotel room tour before we completely mess the place up. As is tradition. Door. <laughs> Andy. And then we've basically put stuff everywhere already. Bed. Suitcase area. Some hanger space. And uh, just like cubby hole space extra pillows, TV and then like every Ibis the bathroom is like a prefab unit so it's got the shower, a toilet but you know what a toilet looks like and then the sink area and a hair dryer. Super duper basic room but equally I paid 60 euros for the night. A super duper basic price. <laughs> yeah indeed, um, literally two minutes from the park so can't argue with that at all. <laughs> and now... Bed. Bed. Well, no, actually, shower, because I'm soggy. I totally, like... Yeah, not good. No, and I, it was totally worth me getting up at 5am to wash my hair and then going in a thunderstorm, so... Yeah, tomorrow the plan is big thunder as much as possible first thing. Okay. Because we've oh, done it once. Once. <laughs> That's not enough. I need more big thunder in my life. Um. And then my plan originally was to try and watch The Lion King show, but we did that today. I already did it. Guess we're just going to see what characters we can do then tomorrow. Excellent. So, that's the end of the vlog. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. <laughs> if you dislike this video, give it a thumbs down. <laughs> Hit the subscription button. Pew pew! Hit the notification bell. Pew pew! <laughs> That's not a thing now. You're not poking my head now. <laughs> In short, do the YouTube stuff. Do the YouTube stuff. And we'll see you soon. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Bye.